Greetings and salutations, this is Jason Silverain, and we're continuing chapter 2 of Cherry Tree High, I, my girls. Now our little pop, pop, pop idol is still lost and wandering around, and this joke is getting tiresome. What? Stand here and hold this when a sword in suit arrives, give it to her. Huh? What the hell? Seriously? What the hell? Why would you do that to a complete stranger? This sounds like a drug deal. <laughs> oh my god, that sounds so shifty. I was about to say she's a development manager, but game introduced her again. shifty as hell. Oh my god. She is just aggravating. a bad sense to so presume that's for singing. Again, I think that's a mistranslation. Oh, finally! Go into the school. Out. Also, it felt a lot shorter than, than chapter one. Okay, chapter three. A new challenger appears. Or well, new challenger in this case. I would have preferred a bit more of a focus on the comedy club, to be honest. But it's still early.
Okay, just tickle the random stranger who is looking in the glass. So there is a classic comedy club? This would never fly nowadays because, um, well, especially in front of a teacher. Yeah, that's ha hardly appropriate behavior nowadays. Why did, if there was already a comedy club, there was no hint of a existing comedy club in the school already? I mean... You know, why didn't Mario, Mario basically join theirs? So, we don't just have the class president trying to shut us down, we also um, have a rival club trying to put us out of business as well. Why didn't you join? of why the classic club's so different? I mean, does it work on old-style jokes or something? I keep getting... I'm wanting to, like, press shift and run around. Is she trying to poach club members? What? What? Oh, come on. Do it elegantly. Fair enough. The teacher is promoting the club's fighting? Oh, this is just... This is so frustrating, actually. The club's barely gotten started. Satisfying, but still legal. Just that's the best way of doing it.
Oh, come on. Yeah, he's trying to hide the fact he's the son of a famous comedian. God, he's... Everyone's going to end up joining the sodding classic comedy club at this rate. She helped him open up to her dad and they got a better relationship out of it. Good man, I thought he was going to jump ship there. Aren't you going to explain what she told you? <laughs> yeah, her running off has not been explained at all, and it seems to have just been dropped out of the plot. Like choosing her as a reward, that is. Oh god, this is going to end badly. I bet she's going to like think it's a date or something, and then it turns out it's not. Walking around in a kimono? That's still not explained.
that is fair. That's not really fair. If someone just kind of goes, hey, I'll go do this performance, and then people go, oh, uh, I'll never be that good, I quit. Or is it a case of, oh, that person's far too good, I'll quit. It's like, that's a stupid reason to stop someone from doing what they want to do. It, it's the sort of thing that irks me. Though, I must admit, I do get the same thing when I play some games, like Minecraft. I see these huge, elegant cities people have built, and I'm like, I'll never make anything that good. But it doesn't stop me from playing it just for fun, though. Okay, at least that's been cleared up pretty quickly. And that was a much shorter chapter than the others, though there was still that plotline that got dropped. Oh, we have a new sub-episode available. I think I'll maybe do the sub-episode first. But uh, thank you for watching. I'll catch you next time.